In previous videos, we've talked about a lot of different types of vaccines, such as whole pathogen types or protein subunit types, and even the newest forms of vaccines like nucleic acid types. But today I want to talk about a historical type of vaccine, which are known as toxoid vaccines, which have been used for the past several decades. But before we actually deep dive into how these work, let's first talk about what even is a toxin. So during an infection, certain types of bacteria can release toxins, which are typically protein-based, into their host. These toxins can then go on and enter healthy cells. Once inside those healthy cells, they can disrupt certain pathways, such as proteins that we need moving from location A to location B. This disrupts the cell cycle and can lead to a diseased state. And typically, this is often associated with those physiological effects of being sick. However, these toxins, because they're protein-based, can also be taken advantage of to form a vaccine. So what some researchers have done is that they have grown this certain type of bacteria that produce these toxins in a lab. They can then collect a lot of that excreted toxin, and then they can inactivate it. Typically, it's inactivated with heat. Then that inactivated toxin can be formulated into a vaccine, such as for the tetanus vaccine. And then once that vaccine is administered to a patient, their bodies will be able to recognize that toxin, the immune system create antibodies against that toxin. So if an individual is infected with the bacteria that releases that toxin, the body will be able to neutralize it before it has a chance to enter those healthy cells and make someone sick. 